Hey guys, Dell here from Dell's Rigging and Crane Tips. Uh, yeah, yeah, coming to you live from my living room. Now, why I'm coming to you live from my living room is because I need to stop making excuses, you know? You've got every excuse under the sun. And that's like you guys. Oh yeah, I can't get my next crane ticket because all these lame excuses. So I'm not gonna be that excuse guy. My excuses were, Oh, I don't want to use anyone's cranes because it's got their crane name in it and I don't want to be associated with them. But look, we don't need cranes. You can use your imaginations, right? Well, if you can, I can too. And I can get the tip across to you so you can keep going about your day looking like a professional. And that's what it's all about. So we need to use our imaginations today. And the, mag and the imagination and the tip is today, it comes from... One of my new subscribers, Dave Walker, you've got this chest pitch, this chest pitcher bro, and you just got these mad muscles. You look like you could like smash watermelons with your biceps. So I've got a tip for you, bruv. I've got a tip for you. Now you were saying that you work on high rises. Now high rises and construction is a fast paced industry. So if you're in the city on high rises or if you're on a slew crane, you know, not a tower crane, a slew crane, and you're putting up stuff to third, fourth, fifth deck, you know, and you're smashing it all day. I understand, I used to work on that, man. And it's a fast paced industry, you don't have time to muck around. Because guess what? You've got 12 more semis in the loading bay, and it's 12 o'clock, you know? You've gotta get moving. <laughs> chop, chop. So one of the things with working in a fast paced injury on a high rise, is you need to be able to do things fast. And one thing that you need to know how to do fast is shorten chains fast. Now, a lot of riggers, they don't carry a tape on them. You know what I mean? And a tape is one way how to measure the distance between lugs. But if you don't have a tape, then what do you do? Well, this is the tip. You use your body, man. That's what I do. I've been using it for ages and it's always got me pretty close first time. And so what I mean by that is if I grab this chair here, if you've got two lugs here, and you've got two lugs here, and you need to know the distance to shorten up, this is how you do it. You use your body. So you put your hand where the bottom lugs are, and you measure to the top lugs, which are here. So it's about to the middle of my bicep. Or sometimes I use my top of my shoulder and I use the bottom of my hand to where the bottom of the lugs are. So to about my wrist. And then what you do after that, very important. So the measurement is from the top of my shoulder to my wrist, okay? You bring the hook down, you bring the chains down and you wanna get the shortener, the flat part of the shortener where the link sits in. You get that to your top point. So you bring the hook down, the shortener gets to your shoulder point, so stop, stop. And then our next point was our wrist. You grab the two links, which are in line with your wrist, and that's where you shorten it. And that will get this one perfect. All right, say something's longer than your arm. Say you've got two lugs on the ground here and your two lugs are on this bench here, right? Okay, so how do we measure it? Well, our feet are on the bottom two lugs already because that two lugs are on the ground. And then we measure off our body to the top two lugs. So that would be my waist right here. And all we do again is we bring the hook down, the flat bit of the shortener to the top point. Stop, stop, you bring it there, okay. Then you go down and you grab the two links which are just sitting on the ground and you shorten them up. And that will be perfect. They'll come up on these two and those two. It won't be perfect, it might be a few links out, but with construction, lifts, you know, scaffold or um, formwork or concrete blocks which are different lengths, it doesn't have to be exactly level. But that's how you can use your body. So I was doing a forklift the other day and imagine, come on, because we're using our imaginations, that this is a forklift. This is the front of it, this is the mast. All right, and this is the back two points where the, um, where the radiator is. 
So what I done the other day, the back two points are about this height and the mast was up here. And so I put my feet exactly on the back two points where they sit and then I stood up and then I eyed the mast off. And the mast was about, you know, just in the middle of my waist. So what did I do? I got the hooks down, I got the shortener to my waist, just like the two other times. And then I grabbed the two links which are on the ground, closest to the ground, because that's the distance that you measured with your body, linked it up. And when I picked up the forklift, it was perfectly shortened. So that's what I'm saying guys, use your body as a measuring tape. If you don't have a measuring tape, you're in a fast-paced industry, oh yeah bruv, yeah bruv, yeah bro, like how do I shorten, you know? Take the guessing out of it, use your body. If you have to shorten this much, measure it with your arm. Oh yeah, back of the tricep there, Dave Walker, because you've got huge arms, just back of my tricep, you can flex as well. Measure that point, get the flat bit of the shortener to the, back, to the tricep there, and then grab the two links which are in line with the bottom of your hand. You can measure anything with your arms. If it's longer than your arm, use your body. You've got two meters here or close to it. If you've got a short and higher than your body, then just bring the hook down to two feet above your head. Grab the hooks and tell old mate, hey, come down your hook. You know, hook it up. But it's an easy way to get yourself out of trouble in a fast paced industry. And then your crane up will be like, bro, you got that on the first time. That was pretty good, man. You didn't even have a tape on you. And you're like, yeah, bruv. You know, and then all along, you got Dell ones rigging in crane tips on your phone, low key. Hee. So it's all good. You know what I mean? But that, that's a tip. Like this video, subscribe here. Dell's rigging in crane tips. Go get it, man. Go smash it. That's what we want from you. We want you to be the best. All right. See you guys. Brothers of the hook.